Amateur. Now we move to the very latest on the oil spill in the Gulf. That spill is now 130 miles long, 70 miles wide, and growing by the hour. It could hit land in the next 72 hours somewhere between Louisiana and Alabama. Fishing is now banned off the coast of Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and parts of Florida. British Petroleum says it is working on a dome that would funnel oil to the surface, but they say anything they do to fix it is going to take at least a week. It's a bit like doing open heart surgery at 5,000 feet beneath the surface. Now, BP does promise to pay for the cleanup costs and also to compensate fishermen for their losses. Well, the problems caused by that spill, boy, they are widespread. They're impacting the economy, they're impacting wildlife, and the oil spill also threatens the world's seafood supply. Now, leaders closed shrimping, fishing, and oyster harvesting areas near the Louisiana coast by the Mississippi border last week. And News on 6 anchor chair of Reeland has the details of how the oil spill is going to impact local seafood supplies. That's new at 5. Craig, 40% of seafood that's harvested in the U.S. comes from the Gulf, and that means restaurants and stores here will surely be affected. But area store owners say it's hard to say just how the oil spill will impact their businesses. Hmm. Man, that is awesome. Ed Richard moved to Tulsa from Louisiana and wanted it to feel like home. There was no food like we had in Louisiana, and so I um, decided I wanted to make some. So we opened A Bear Specialty Meats, a restaurant that says Southern. An A Bear fan favorite fried shrimp and oysters, seafood in jeopardy due to the oil spill. Our store is all about Southern Louisiana, and so. All of our products come from southern Louisiana and the Gulf. Ebears receives its seafood shipment three times a week. Richard says since the spill, he's been in frequent contact with the fishermen. I don't think we're going to have an immediate effect on the shrimp supply, even though it probably will have some effect on the price. Odin Seafood Restaurant flies in fresh seafood twice a day. The manager says they have called their suppliers every two hours. Some of our suppliers in Louisiana, Florida, are being told that it's okay to fish for like today and go out and catch as much as they can. Both restaurants say a potential price increase. We can't tell off, offhand right now exactly how it's going to affect and how long this bill is going to be, it be in effect for. Um, hopefully we can absorb some of those costs, but ultimately there may be a price increase. It's the biggest change Tulsa seafood fans may see. Now our prices are the same. If I ordered some today, the prices are the same. Next week, they, you know, in the next couple of weeks, they'll probably go up a little bit, but they don't know how much. It just depends on the market and supply and the anxiety, I guess, of the people that are fishing them. Richard says the seafood that will be sold will be safe to eat. We won't have to worry about oily shrimp. He says it's too expensive for fishermen to send their boats out if they are not going to catch a good product. Tara Vreeland, the News on 